Hi, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the gradient tool in Photoshop Beta. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this is because the new gradient selection enables you to have a mimic lighting effects, which are now retired along with the 3D tools that are in Photoshop. So this tutorial is going to show you how to mimic that effect in the new Photoshop beta version, which should come out in the October update. This particular image here is from one of my VIP members, Nitwix, who took this shot. He then cut the line out and put it onto a nice background and then color corrected it. And this tutorial is now is just mimicking this side light. So this is the after, this is the before. So you can see here, this is the phase from when he's cut the actual line out, put it onto a still background, and then this lighting effect has been added just to give it a little bit more drama. So I'm gonna start from the beginning and walk you through the process. It's really, really simple. And so the first thing we wanna do is come down to our layers panel. If you can't see that, then just come up to window and just select layers there, and it will pop up down the bottom here. So come down to the bottom and we wanna make a new exposure adjustment. So click on exposure, and then we just wanna bring this exposure down. Now the trick with this is, for this particular image, I don't wanna to go too dark like this because I'm gonna lose a lot of detail around here. It's gonna go black, and I still wanna keep some of that texture in the background there. So I think, just over a stop, stop and a half, is probably about right for this particular image. So click on the little X and you can see there, we've got our exposure. So keeping on that mask, we wanna come over to our colors and we wanna click on a little arrow there or press the X key just to move them around. You want it on black because when we make the adjustment, it's going to then appear within the image. Then come up to your gradient tool here and then come to the top and within the basics folder, you wanna select the first one. So if you click on that, that is foreground to background. And then we wanna make sure that we are in the radial gradient selection there, which is the second one in. So come over to the image and then click and drag and you'll see there that we're getting this radial and this is very much like the lighting effects that were in the 3D tools which are no longer available. So this is given us that option. Now, if you come to the top here, we've got the option there to pull and push so we can bring this down and make a really, really nice light beam. The other neat thing is that if you come to the little square here or diamond, if you increase that, you'll see that that'll increase the exposure and bringing it down would just give you a lot, lot less fall off. So we can continue making this bigger. We can pretty much do whatever we want and you can be as directional as you like. I think with this particular image, I'm going to just highlight this top edge. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm actually following the light contours that are in the eyes there. You can see there is light coming from that right hand side. There is actually a little bit on the left as well. We could add that in at a later date if we want to. So I'm just gonna push this exposure up a little bit and just make this a little bit wider. So you can play around until you get the perfect exposure. So once you're happy with that, all you need to do is just come over out here and just click and that will give you the end result. So you can click on the little eyeball there. You can see that was the before and that was the after. So the next thing that we can do is if we click back onto our layer panel here, if we come up to channels and then come to the red channel here, so actually click on the little red where it says red here, there's a little thumb there. If you hold the control or command key and click, you'll see there that it will make a selection just off the red channel there. Come back to your layers and we want to then click onto our background layer and press control or command J. And what that's going to do is just copy that selection. So if I get rid of this lighting effect and the background image, you can see there that is all that's been affected. So we can now add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of texture to that. Come up to the blending mode up here and we wanna select overlay and then come to the top, come to filter, select other and then select 
I pass. And you'll see there that this will now give us a little bit of texture just in them pixels. So this is subjective as well. We can add as much as we want or as little as we want. If we increase that, you'll see there that it's not actually doing it to all the pictures. It's just to them selected pixels in that red channel there. So we can boost this up a little bit. And the reason why we're doing that is because if you light something from the side, you're always going to bring out a little bit more texture within the subject. So let's just boost that up to around seven. I think that works pretty well. And select OK. And then just click on the little camera here and that gives us our before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. This is the one that I showed you in the beginning. So they're pretty much identical. If you wanted to, you could add another radial in here just to bring out some of the exposures down here, but I don't think it needs it. I think this does it justice. And I think you'll agree that that is the final part to this picture. That is now the finished product. And I think that looks a lot more dramatic. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I look forward to seeing your images. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.